Ok, bonjour. Mino Gika Jeb. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Buju Nana Buju, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. My name is Nana Buju, and today, today we call today Ishkwa Anima E Gijigai. After prayer day, Ishkwa Anima E Monday, Monday in Ojibwe, we didn't really have a word called Monday <laughs> back in the days of the grandfathers. But after, uh, you know, the English speakers moved in, they asked us, oh, what, what do you call that day? You know, after, you know, the day we all went to church. Oh, you mean prayer day? I don't know, well, this just after prayer day, or Monday. Ishkwa, anama e gisha good. Ishkwa, after. Anama e, prayer. Gisha good. So since it's uh, after prayer day, I thought it'd be a good day to pray. <laughs> or maybe even tell a story. You know, they call me a uh, Arizuke Winani. Arazuke Winani. And Arazuke Winani is a storyteller. Or I guess directly translated, it's a story man. <laughs> but I'm a storyteller. And today, I want to tell the story. Maybe you've heard about him. About a man called Jesus. Some people called him Yeshua. I always found it kind of strange. We're not really sure what his name is. But he called himself the Son of Man. <laughs> but then they called him the Son of God. And he talked about God, Kichimanadu, the Great Spirit, as though he was his father. And he also said that Kichimanadu was our father. You know? So this is the story, what they called a Sermon on the Mount. You see, back in the days of the grandfathers, Jesus walked around with these 12 guys. They called him the disciples after a while. And uh, he was always going around chasing out bad spirits, healing people, teaching the good word, spreading the news of, hey, guess what? Uh, our Father who art in heaven, uh, you know, everything is going to be okay, but you got to straighten up. Be, gonna be good. And, uh, you know, people have had a lot of crazy ideas about what he meant by that. You know, we don't need to get into all that. But there came a day when uh, finally, you know, he's always telling his friends and the people he met on the road, Say, hey, don't forget to pray to your father. And finally, one of the days, one of his disciples came up to me and said, Excuse me, Jesus, you know, you're always telling us to pray, but what if we don't know how to pray? Uh, it's kind of embarrassing to admit, but, uh, <laughs> you know, we're following you and acting all important in that, but I, we don't even know how to pray. And Jesus, he's like, hey, listen, I'm going to tell you how to pray. If you don't know how to pray, this is just a good prayer. This is a prayer that, that they'll call the Lord's Prayer. Because he's the Lord, right? And he, he brought him up on a mount, whatever that is. A mountain? <laughs> a, a hillside? I don't know. And, and he told him this, this prayer. So, so I, I'd like to, uh, to say the Lord's Prayer in Ojibwe. And I'm going to offer a little tobacco to get you manadu uh, before I pray. Buju get you manadu. Utapana niwi asema. 
Hello, Great Spirit, accept my tobacco. And now this is the Lord's Prayer in Ojibwe. Nusana Wakwing Abian, our Father who is in heaven. Apegich, Apegish, Kichitwa Wendemig, Kidanuzoin. May your name be hallowed. Apegish, be dug Wishanu Magak, Kidanugi Mawiwen. May your kingdom come. Apegish, Ijiwe Bak, Dibishku Wakwing Miko. May your will be done. Gaya King on earth. Miko Gaye Ishpaming as it is in heaven. Magishanang Nuko Aki Shakak Nimbakweji Gani Mana Minike Yuyang. Give us today our daily bread. Bunigade Tawishanang Gaye. Kaiji nish ki hinangi. Forgive us for how we offended you. Kego gaye iji wish wishing kange. Kagwe dibinange winning. Do not lead us into temptation. Dash inama wishing maya nadak. And keep us from what is evil. Apeenge. Amen. And this has been the Lord's Prayer in Ojibwe. To learn more about what is really part of our culture. I don't know when people started to decide, oh, that's not traditional. That's not part of the Anishinaabe tradition to be talking about Jesus. Mm -mm. From the first time our grandfathers heard about Jesus, we picked that right up. Just ask your grandma and your grandma's grandma. Ask them who their Lord was. Nine out of ten Anishinaabe people are going to say Jesus. Problem is, there are a lot of college people and people who talk about Indians who don't really know Indians and they think, oh no, the true Indian doesn't believe in Jesus. Mm -mm. That's not true. Jesus is our way also. Anyway. <laughs> now look, now listen to me. I'm preaching on the mount. <laughs> nah. I better go back in. Go see what that old Natasha is up to. Boop, 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 boop. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Boo-shoo. Hi, sweetie. Why <laughs> not a boo-shoo? Are you ready to come in? Yeah, I sure am. Okay, hang on. Let me scan for your coordinates. Okay. All right, lock it in. <laughs> okay. And that's one to teleport. Make it so, number one. <laughs> no.